you guys, so I know I haven't done a haul for a really long time, but I also haven't had a job. So I'm all dressed up, all gussied up to go to an interview for a job. So I'm very excited. Um, I'm gonna film this then jet off. This is going to be a giant haul. It's not just from Target, I just shoved everything in there. I'm sorry, it's not giant at all. It's like the mini, it's like the smallest haul I've ever done, but there's some really cool products in it and I wanna show you. And it features the, my four, five, four. Four um, new color tattoos that I bought, so very excited. Um, the first thing I just picked up, some boring stuff, is just some cotton balls. I always need them. They were like 99 cents. Uh, the other three really boring things that I bought were from e.l.f. And I bought some eyeshadow applicators only because I really like to use these to apply the color tattoo. That way I'm not using my finger and it's spreading upward and then I have to wipe it off or whatever. I don't use them as bases, sometimes I do. I use them as actual colors. They're so beautiful on their own. They don't even need anything on top of them. So really put away your powdered eyeshadow and use them as an actual color. You'll be surprised how well it works. Just some more blotting sheets because I actually really have been keeping these in my purse and using them. Like, when I first bought these, I just didn't really know what to do with them, kind of threw them. Now I'm taking them out and using them all, so I needed to get a new one. And I bought a smudge brush. I don't know why I bought a smudge brush, because or an eyeshadow brush, because I just got a really nice one in my My Glam bag. So I really don't know why I bought this, but it was a dollar, so whatever. Went to the mall, and I went to the mall Saturday and Sunday. Saturday I didn't buy anything. Um, oh, I did, I got some Beth Meyer stuff, but Sunday I went to Lush and I got two things. Um, again, not a lot of money, so I bought the cheap things. This, okay, so when I use my bath bombs, I don't, to me, I can't see spending six dollars, six, seven, between six and like ten dollars on a bubble bar or a bath bomb for one use for a bath. I'm sorry, I don't see that. Unless you're rich and you can do it, I don't see the point of that. So what I do is I'm obsessed with my feet, and if you've been following me for a while, you know that. Um, but what I do is I take a foot file and the little br brush bristles and I scrub it. I file it down so that little flakes come off and they go into my foot bath and they make my feet really nice and you just need a little bit for your feet. So they will last me years and it's an amazing idea. I think you guys should try it if you don't like spending the money on them but you want to still use them. I think that works. So the first one that I bought is this cute little robot. It was $3.95. It's... <laughs> smells really good, but not when you get it in your nose. It smells really, really good. I don't, I don't even know what these scents are, so I can't tell you. I just know it smells really good, and it's super freaking cute. Oh my god, who doesn't want a freaking robot? This one was $4.95, and I was really excited. I was only going to get one, but then I saw the robot was really cheap, so I went and got it. And this was $9 for both of them. Oh my god, this smells so good. Oh, it's this, and it's so pretty. Look at this cute little, oh my god. So adorable. Oh my god. It smells so good. It smells just like flowers and daisies and oh my god, I can smell it forever. I can seriously smell it forever. And I put them in a nice little dish, all my bath bombs, so that when I walk into my room, it smells like lush. It literally smells like the store. I don't even need a candle. It smells so good. So I got two nail polishes and then like a little set thing. Um I got two sailing hands and extreme wares. Um, the only reason why I got another bubblegum pink is because I gave one away to Sarah because I didn't think I wanted it anymore and then I went to use it, realized I didn't have it, missed it, rebought it. So cute. And this is the one I'm wearing now and it is green with envy. It is an exact dupe for OPI's Who the Shrek Are You and one of the colors in the OPI, uh, Nicki Minaj collection, but I wanted a Sailor Handsome one to try out. I've been eyeing this since it came out. This is the Germany collection. I have been eyeing this for the longest time and I'm so excited that I got it. I was like, I shouldn't get it because I don't have a job. So I only had $40 to spend for the, or $50 to spend for the weekend. And I was like, I shouldn't get it. And it was like 10 bucks or 12 bucks. And I was like, I shouldn't, but I want it. So I just got it anyway. And the guy rang it up and it was only $8.90 something. And I was like, how was it only eight? I'm like, I didn't say anything, but it was like, it was supposed to be 12 something, but it rang up as eight. So I was like, Yes, so I got it. Super excited. I didn't even pay over $10 for it. Um, this is the mini ones. I like to get the mini ones. That way I can sample out. And if I really strongly love the product, I will go out and buy the full size. But this is a don't pencil my buttons. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, fine. Unforgettable blue. And Susie and the Seven Dusseldorfs. This is Susie and the Seven Dusseldorfs. This is 
such a pretty blue. I fell head over heels when I saw this. This is Unforgetta blue. This is Don't Pretzel My Buttons, which is a very nice nude. Um, really, I, I love nudes. They're so pretty. And this is a 999 OK Fine, which is almost kind of looks like um, the Birchbox Color Club color. Eh, I forgot what it's called, but it looks like one of the new ones. So I went to Bath Body Works I got six sanitizers. Don't know how I managed to pull off six. I think I just grabbed an extra one. Um, I got the Bonjour Pink Bloom, and it's actually got like legit sparkles in it. I got two of the Vanilla Cupcakes only because they were so good smelling, and I just had to have two of them. I got Creamy Pumpkin, Island Margarita, which I've already kind of used and fresh picked pomegranates. I already have this one, but I want to use it and I kind of want like another one, so I got this one. There's like a really big bug in my window. It's kind of disgusting. I got two candles. It was so hard to pick just two. There were so many kinds I wanted, but I don't have jobs, so I had to pick two small ones. And I got frosted cupcake, because I'm using the frosted cupcake from last year when they had the plastic containers. And this one smells so much better. And this is in cinnamon sugar donut. I already bought a mini one of these, but I absolutely had to get another one because I'm probably going to be using these like all the time. I don't know where that bug went. I got four new color tattoos, so that means I have 12 or 13 now. I um, can't remember, but I have 12 or 13. I'm super excited. I love them. This first one is in mossy green, and I'm going to show pictures at the end of these. So this one's in mossy green. It's very, 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 very pretty. This one I'm actually wearing today. On, um, and then I have some NYX Golden Amber Powder on top. Something light for the interview. This is in Barely Beige. Oh my goodness, you guys. I have been absolutely obsessed with this color. So many beauty gurus have. And I went out and bought it. And I was like, I had to have this. Because everyone was talking about it. And I was like, what is it? And it was like, oh, this is the best color ever. It's such a champagne-y, uh, nudie color. I absolutely love it. Now, these two are kind of similar. And this is in Gold Shimmer. You guys know my obsession with Bold Gold. But this one's in gold shimmer and I love this putting on the outer part of my eye and then putting bold gold on the inner part. So it's really cute. And this is the last color. This is in rich mahogany and it's just a darker color. It's, it's similar to bold, it's similar to gold shimmer but a little darker. Um, absolutely love it. And this isn't, I didn't buy this, it's not a recent haul. Um, this was sent to me in my, when the subscriber sent me that beauty box. Thought it was so cute and I'm actually in love with this and I have not touched an automatic liner, a liquid liner, or a pencil liner since I started using this stuff. This is called gel liner and I don't say that you guys, you guys know what it's called. Um, but I've been using it and then I took the My Glam, uh, it's a really small thin brush and I've been using it just to put right there. It works so well. The brush that came with it is perfect. It's a little thicker, so it's perfect for the top. But this is perfect for the bottom, and I've been using this, and it's been staying. It doesn't smudge. It stays like a 24 hours. It's absolutely amazing. This is a simple wet and wild one, so I'm thinking about trying the tart one. So that was my very miniature haul. Sorry that wasn't that exciting, but you guys love my hauls, and I haven't done one in about a month, so hope you guys enjoyed that.